Hello everybody, my name is Pekka, I'm Omniverse Ambassador and I'm about to show you how to run Omniverse in iRendering. Let's go! First you have to create an account at iRendering and then you have to create a new image for yourself to pick up the machine. And I use this 5P which is a good combination of uh, 4 uh, GPUs, uh, 3090s and a Threadripper Pro. Looking good. Uh, I've been using this uh, much. Uh, it's creating it. It will take a while. Uh, and uh, you can try to follow this tutorial as you go. Then you boot it by pressing that rocket and boot machine buttons. And it's booting. This will take something like 10 minutes usually. I skipped that part. So now I press the connect and then I connect using the secondary server, which is better for me, because I'm from Europe, Finland. So, now it's uh, uh, downloaded me a file which I double-clicked, and it will uh, open straight away Windows Security uh, Password login details. And uh, you have to fill here your account password for iRendering. Uh, you can, of course, put the tab on so it doesn't ask it always. It's very good and, and uh, the connection is a no-brainer. Uh, you don't have to install any extra software. You just double-click that and it works straight from there. Okay, now we are at the virtual machine. It, uh, at iRendering. And uh, first we have to install their Omniverse and that takes two steps and two passwords. So you have to have an uh, account user for uh, NVIDIA and then you use that to download the Omniverse and then you have to create and write down the user name and passwords for the Nucleus server. Two steps. Okay, so first we go to the Omniverse download site. You just Google download Omniverse and you pick the Windows one and you register, register to download. And uh, this can be 10 times the multiple. Uh, you, can, you, you can put this on any rendering farms, your own emails and all that doesn't bother NVIDIA. And then you download Windows version of it. And it's an EXE file and it will start to install the launcher. So, uh, now we need to log in to the NVIDIA. So you have to have a first account here. NVIDIA account. And when you log in, it will boot the default browser, which in this case is uh, Edge. And uh, you can use this Edge browser to log in. And there you put your password, NVIDIA password. So now it allows you to continue using the launcher. Hmm. And here we are. It might ask this verify email address. And if you do it, you just verify your uh, existence by clicking yes or verify button. Then you go on by installing the launcher. C, defaults and install catch. Okay, I hope you guys can follow me. And then you uh, install Drive, Catch, Drive, and then the third step, which is needed under the hood, is Nucleus. It opens this kind of thing where you just press Enter, a prompt, and then you go to the Nucleus tab on Launcher and install to the default locations the Nucleus. And here we have the second set of usernames and password. You can create this as you go here, but you have to type this down and remember. That's a Nucleus server running there in local machine, which is the same we use on the cloud where we do call operations, but this is just for one user. Okay, now we have everything needed to uh, install admin password localhost. The second one goes here. It logs in to the Nucleus, which is this one, kind of a browser. But it's a, it's a server. <laughs> and then we install 
from exchange the create or machinima whatever you want to use but create is the default that most omniverse people use so we just install that it goes straight doesn't ask where it installs it goes there and now we are pretty much on the winning of the whole process it was this fast and this easy and uh, as you can see the 5p machine is very fast it downloads stuff very fast through indirect rendering and uh, then we have to install GBU hub from iRender and of course you have to have uh, the logins to, to log there and get this you need to have the account for I rendering and installing this software to your own machine ladies and gentlemen with this we can transfer files from my local machine to I rendering so here I log in to my local in machine installation of uh, GPU hub and I log in there and then it asks me where I am where I select the Stockholm from Europe which is the nearest for me and now I have my storage uh, set disk there and I double click that and this is the only part which is a bit slow here you have to have a patience here because the the scenes might be quite big as you upload them I usually just upload zip files there I collect assets from Omniverse create and and I zip that asset which is collected and use that GPU hub to upload it to iRendering and now we are booting the create at the iRendering machine and this will take a time the first time to boot so don't worry if you don't see anything here just hold on for a few minutes it will come you will see soon the space and everything and now uh, I'm here showing you how to do the collect assets yeah collect assets go on there you can google that from somewhere if you didn't catch my fast forward screen I collect this from my local machine to one bunch of files in a folder like this and then I upload it to the iRendering machine just by dragging there on the GPU hub it's very handy it's very handy thank you iRendering for these tools and then uh, I as you see now it has opened up the cart and I can test everything works there you don't have to do it they work uh, and they they have the latest drivers usually all, all around but if you have problems just uh, install the latest studio drivers from Nvidia for the 3090s and then uh, you're good to go on some rendering farms you can't update those I have to take it it's my boss all right the scene is opening on I rendering machine I have a machinima there also installed because I use that for animations and this is my latest project on the table Natasha seeking the truth play with firefly filtering for the noisy areas and uh, using denoiser for the overall noise washing and uh, then using the multi GPU force of eye rendering and uh, Everything works now very good. At the beginning there were some things uh, that needed to be taken care of, but now Omniverse has updated everything and everything goes well. Yes, so here I'm doing then the first test renderings and as you can see I have uh, raised the sample per pixel per iteration to 800. You can easily have it like 10 times more than the uh, path trace samples. Uh, and that's very good. We can then squeeze out all the power from eye rendering. And sampling at catching, you don't have to uh, deactivate that anymore. Everything works just fine out of the box. So here we have it. Uh, this is the way to install Omniverse to eye rendering and, and rock it. I want to thank everybody at eye rendering. Uh, for the support, their systems are always up and uh, they always answer to my questions and they are just uh, working like a machine. So, thank you very much.